Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another one of my video tutorials in Photoshop. Today I want to show you how to make a magnifying glass, a realistic magnifying glass in Photoshop. And here's one example that I did the other day. Here's another one that I worked on today. And for this tutorial I'm going to use this image that I created uh, last year. So the first thing that we're going to do is use our elliptical marquee tool and on a new layer hold down shift and make a perfect round circle. Control C to copy and on the new layer control V. Okay so make sure it's in position and then go filter, distort, spherize and I'm going to set mine at 38% and hit OK. Okay, so now we can see that it's enlarged. And the next thing that we're going to do is make a new layer. And I like to, to drag down my rulers, my ruler guides, and put them in position to help me draw the frame for my, rec for my magnifying glass. And holding down shift, I release and making sure I'm on that new layer, control shift I to select the inverse and I'm going to fill it with a dark gray. And this dark gray is 272C2D and hit OK. Control D to deselect. Use my selection tool again and bump these ruler guides up just a notch and over just a notch. Equal, equal distances if you can. And then use your elliptical marquee tool again. Hold down shift and try to get it equal around the entire circle. Control shift I hit delete. So now you have the round frame for your magnifying glass. Control D. I'm going to get rid of my ruler guides because I do not need them anymore. And I'm going to duplicate this layer and move it down one. And then I'm going to hit my down arrow key three times and my left arrow, arrow key three times. And duplicate it again. One, two, three down and one, two, three over. And I'm going to do that one last time, one, two, three, down, and one, two, three, over. Okay, and now with these bottom three layers, I can right click and merge them. And I want to give them a gradient overlay. And for my gradient, I've already got it saved. And the colors that I'm using are 55595A. And this is the same color as the top frame, 272C2D. We already have it over here. And the last color is 515454. And hit OK. Normal, normal blend mode, 100% opacity, 90 degrees, hit OK. All right, now we can add this top layer and right click and merge these layers. And the next thing that we can do is add our reflections on a new layer. And I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool, draw an oval shape. Fill it with white, control D, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 21.4 pixels, okay. Control T, rotate it a bit, and bump it up into the appropriate position. Check mark and lower the opacity. 
Okay. Above this image layer, I want a new layer and we'll draw another ellipse and I can make it fit in here pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to add a gradient and this is not working for me very well. This will do well. White to clear. And just go something like that. Control D and lower it way down. And that looks pretty good. I might move it a little bit or even rotate it just a bit. Okay. Maybe lower this one a bit too. I'll move that over here. Okay. New layer. Let's draw one more ellipse. And let's put it about right here. And fill it with white. Control D. And lower the opacity. There, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to zoom in for a moment. I'm going to check my edges. I can see that I have a little bit of blur over here. That might be this. It is. So with my selection tool, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And this, this edge, this is sticking out. Or not, it's not meeting the magnifying glass right. So I'll go down a little bit. Make sure my edges are okay up here. If they don't meet up, you can always control T it and then stretch it out just a little bit. I don't think those pixels will be noticeable that they're stretched out. Okay. New layer, time to draw the stem for the magnifying glass. We use our rectangular marquee tool and we'll just go like that. I'm going to use a light gray. Okay. And I'm on a new layer, so I'm going to fill it with that gray. Control D. And I'm going to use my dodge tool and stroke the side of it a few times. And shrink that brush down and go down here. Oops. Holding shift works the best. And maybe I'll make that brighter. And then I'll use the burn tool maybe once. See, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger and a little bit softer. Okay, go back to the rectangular marquee tool, try to line it up. In fact, I'll make a new layer and merge them. I get about yay in size. And I'm going to fill this with black. So I just hit D to bring up black. Maybe I'll make it dark gray. And fill that, control D, and again use dodge on the side here, hold down shift, stroke it a few times, make a smaller one over here, oh that's too big, make it even smaller, we go right here. And down once and maybe use my burn tool right here. 
I don't really like that. It's my burn tool right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now these two, I will right click and merge them. And control T. And we're going to place it about wherever you think looks good is important. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty good. I think I'll move it below there. And that looks pretty good. So there is your realistic magnifying glass in Photoshop. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more motivated I am to do tutorials like this. And give a comment too. Thanks. And uh, take care. Bye. One last thing that you can do is merge these two layers and give them a drop shadow. And our light source seems to be coming from up here based on the dodging that we did. So that looks pretty good. We can play with our distance if we like and the spread the size. I think I'll bring that down to about four and hit OK. Do I like it? It's a little much, isn't it? Maybe lower the opacity a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, um, thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.